What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about 10 sexy things that you guys are doing. You're not even aware that there are major turn-ons for women. Major. And it's, it's nothing crazy. Don't involve money. Don't involve nothing like that. You're doing it. You're not even realizing it. And for those of you who are not doing it, that might be the video for you to start doing those things because women will die for this shit. All right. So before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash So if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me, you can do so. You can text me about your boo, about somebody you're trying to get, or you can just look at pictures. There's extra pictures over there. All right. So please and thank you. All right. We're going to jump right in, right in. Number one thing you can do that women will find, oh my God, please take me now, daddy. Yes. You want that? Cooking. Easy. You don't got to be a chef. You just got to cook something for her. You know, you invite her over and you're like, no, I got you tonight. So you, you bring a, a nice bottle of wine or maybe you learn a, a, a cute cocktail. She'll be like, okay, you're serving me all that shit. It goes a long way because we're going to feel like you are going to take care of us. Not saying you're setting the bar for, or you're going to cook in the whole relationship, but no, you have a sense of knowing how to take care of a woman and that's really good because a, a lot of men nowadays don't know how to take care of a woman sorry to let you know but it's true so you can find a recipe and practice the recipe at your house or maybe you have one dish that you make really well already you know that that's the dish you're cooking do not venture out if you know you have that one dish that's a one-stop penny drop i don't know if that's the thing but um yeah cook that one because I'm telling you, there is nothing sexier than a man in the kitchen with a fucking apron. You know, we like uniform. So make sure you get the apron, you have spices, you have vegetables, sizzling, and then soon your dick will be sizzling. Yes, yes, we, we love that. And I'm telling you, and the fact that she's already at the house, it's just easier access to. Number two, rolling up your sleeves so yes there is something about forearms i think i've told you that before and if you have some veins that's a plus i'm telling you forearms with veins oh my god so make sure you roll up your sleeve because we want to see those muscular forearms it's kind of like if i know it's some strong forearms uh you're gonna do some damage when it comes to my pussy i don't know i want that i need that i can't explain i'm just telling you that's we see it and it does something to us. It also so that you're a little rough, a little masculine, you know? I wanna to talk to you about joy mode. Yes, I wanna to talk to you about joy mode because this is the pre-workout for sex. I don't know if you've tried those pills that you see at the gas station. I hope you never try them because the type of erections they might give you, might send you to the hospital, you might have side effects and all. You don't want that. So that's why Joy Mode is here to say that the day. It is natural, 100% natural. So this is the sexual performance booster. Yes. So whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance, why not get better? Yeah. Joy Mode was created because what's on the market is super trash and dangerous. So, oop, see, it's jumping out this is designed to support erection quality firmness and sex drive yes so um, and maybe she might tell you you're the best i've ever had if you use joy mode shit but uh how you use it is really easy you open it there's a little package you pour it in six to eight ounces of water and you make sure you drink it 45 minutes to four hours before you need to perform okay yes and then you go and you become big and you become strong and you last if you want to spice things up in the bedroom i highly recommend joy mode so what you do go to usejoymode.com slash melly or you type melly at checkout and what you get 20 percent off 20 percent. i would try it try it go number three being kind to people it's very easy and not a lot of people do it because a lot of people are assholes or they're just selfish. They don't even see that they could help somebody. An act of kindness is very attractive because we're going to see like, oh, he's not selfish. Again, we're going to think about ourselves and think that if he can be kind to a stranger, imagine once I give him pussy, he's going to be hella kind to me. 
I'm not saying that's how far we go in our mind, but just you being nice to someone. I'm telling you, it's when I tell you all the time, being nice to the waiter, that don't take you nothing. So if you cannot do something that is free, can you imagine me thinking, okay, when it's something you don't really want to do, how are you going to handle that? You're going to be an asshole. You're not going to do it. No, it's not setting a good example. So I'm telling you, be nice to strangers in front of her. Hopefully that's something you do on your own. But in front of her, you'll get a lot of cool points. Number four, a nice, genuine smile. Yes, that goes a long way. Women usually like lips, a smile, nice teeth. So work on that. Make sure all of that is ready to go. No crispy lips, no fucked up teeth, no yellow black teeth go take care of that shit please and thank you also it sends a message it sends a message that you're a friendly person that we can talk to you that you're a nice person it's a killer you cannot go wrong with smiling because a lot of men just be walking around i mean women too mad what you mad about you alive what you mad about you also know women want to be validated so you smiling at us is a way of validating us too a smile is also contagious and a signal of happiness you smile, she's going to start smiling and she's going to start thinking she's happy. Easy. Number five, fixing stuff. Yes. First off, if you have a, a tool belt and you have a little outfit, you got a booty. I, I don't know. It's just, you know, like I said, we love the uniform, but just it's attractive. The same as you guys see a lot in a woman being able to cook. That's the same. When we see a man and he can fix it, I'm like, okay, I don't got to fix it no more. That, that's one. But also, it's just attractive. It's manly. You're working with your hands. You're sweating. Baby, you need some water? Seriously, it's attractive. I'm going to think you can save me for, for whatever reason. You can save me. You're just fixing the sink. But now I, I'm going to think you can save my pussy too. Yes, it's, uh, it's sizzling. <laughs> I'm not saying you gotta be able to fix hellish shit, but you know, just be a little handy. You're not scared of getting dirty. I, I see some men and I'm like, I'm not touching this. I'm like, why? I would touch it, but yes. So it's just, it's more attractive if you're not scared of getting your hands dirty. In my pussy. It also shows that you are reliable and I'm gonna wanna submit to you because again, you're a fucking leader. Number six, wearing tailored suits. Yes, I know a lot of you are like, I'm not wearing a suit. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm just giving you some of the stuff that when we see a man in a suit, we're like, because <laughs> you know, mine, okay, you're stylish. You might have money. We're going to think that, I'm telling you. And we're going to think you have a career. We're going to think, oh, he's smart. It's all of this. Oh, you're going to take care of us. All that shit comes to mind. I don't know, when you watch the pineapple show, pay attention when a man come and he's like put together, we're always like, oh, you can be ugly, but you're put together, we're like, okay, I see you. Who are you? Talk to me. It is very classy, it's very sophisticated, and we think you're high value. Why do you think James Bond always wearing suits left and right? And all them bitches be like, oh my God, oh my God, yes. Make sure it fits you well though, like you, you gotta get it tailored, like I said. Number seven, ruffling your hair. I know if you don't got hair, well, this don't apply to you. But there is something, again, the same as the sleeve, just you doing a little something with your hair. It's appealing. I cannot explain it, but I'm telling you, it fucking works. Number eight, concentration on a task. When we see a man who is thinking and he's trying to figure it out, it's like, no way, that's not right. Wait, give me a second. I'm telling you. It is sexy. Again, you're going to be like, shut the fuck up. That is, yes, that easy. Us seeing you think of something, trying to figure out something to come up with a solution is very leadership type of thing. Yes, again, again. I know a lot of women are like, I don't need a man. I don't want to see man. All that. That's bullshit. The women who can find a leader will go and follow. I'm telling you. It gives us the feeling that you are smart, that you make shit happen, that you accomplish shit, and you don't give up. You're like, no, I'm going to figure that out. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm like, yes, figure it out. Number nine, banter. I know it's not for everybody because you got to be a little smart to banter, but it's exchanging remarks in a funny way, light way, lighthearted way, where nobody gets offended, but it's fucking funny. 
like I said, a lot of people can do it because some people are not witty enough. You got to be in the moment. You got to be listening. A lot of people are going to be listening. And you got to be able to go back and forth like it's ping pong. Oh, you say this, bitch. Oh, take this. Take that. Take, you know. And it's very challenging, therefore very attractive to women. Playfulness is a sign of confidence and intelligence. And it's also fun and engaging. Most men have very boring conversation. Oh, where are you from? What do you do? And I'm not saying you can't get those questions out, but eventually you got to get to, to the fun part and being, oh, even you can talk about what do you do, where you work, but you got to find a fun way to bring that up. And number 10, being good with kids. Most women want kids. So if you bring her around your family and there's kids in the family, how you talk to them, how you pay attention to them, how you joke with them, you know, a lot of people will just ignore kids. But if you take the time, you talk to the kid, like it's a human <laughs> and you're having fun. You're letting, you're allowing them to express themselves. You're listening to them. You pay attention. All of this in our mind, we're seeing the future father that you're going to be to our kids right there. It's, it goes with the same as being kind to people. We think that's how you're going to be with us. In that instance, we think that's how you're going to be with our kids. So that's always a plus. So that's all I have for you guys today. These were 10 things that you guys can do that are free, that women die for, and you would make the biggest impression, and it's the biggest turn on for women. That's all I got. So hopefully you can like, share, comment. You can subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. You can also follow me on Instagram, on all the Instagram, Melly Monaco, Melly Love Exo, Melly Motors, Melly Travels. I'm considered all these Melly shit. But I, I, I did it so you guys, it's easy for you. And um, also all the channels, same name. All right, and if you don't know, it's in the description of the video. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day and you keep it moving in this world. Spread love, I guess. Goodbye.